I'm Margaret Cornack and I'm from Cornack Family Farm. We're actually blueberry producers and beekeepers. Blueberries came first and when we needed bees to pollinate our blueberry fields, we, or I actually bought two beehives and we've expanded up to 300 since then. The main thing that we do produce is honey, but then we also make value added products with our honey. We make honey butters, uh, spreads, honey cinnamon spread, honey lemon, and in the beeswax we use it to make skin cream, candles, lip gloss. If I can work it out, I'll try and make it. Bears are the, the largest ant predator that they have. That's why we have electric fences around our yards. Skunks, skunks like to go up to a beehive and they'll scratch at the entrance and then the bees will come out wondering what it is and then the skunk will eat them. It's getting harder to keep bees. When I first kept bees, that be what, 19 years ago, we didn't have the mite. Now there's more and more issues with keeping bees. Our winters are getting harsher. There's uh, chemical coatings on seeds now, they find that that's going into the plant and then the bees, when they gather the pollen, they're getting this, this stuff and it's, it's hurting the bees. There's more issues. They're so fascinating. The beehive, everything, everything in the hive works together. It's one queen, but everyone does the chores that they have to do without being told. It's just natural for the bees to work together. And everything in a beehive can be used for our health. Every third mouthful of food that you eat can be, you can be thankful to a bee for that. Bees pollinate a lot of our food. Once you start, you get addicted and you can't stop. <laughs> you get hooked. And if you lose them, you actually go home and you cry, believe it or not. 